CS77 Smith was asking me earlier today what um, camera was I using and what selfie stick do I use. First thing I want to say is the selfie stick I'm actually replacing because um, the GoPro cameras aren't very good um, at the angle with the average selfie stick because it has this little bit here um, which doesn't fit on most selfie sticks which means you have to use that arm that the, you know this springy holder uh, which I don't like using because like the video I did earlier I wouldn't hang it off a building just in case the camera slipped out the holder um, but what I'm actually doing is replacing that with a new holder a selfie stick which actually goes across then up it'll actually go at three angles so you can actually put it quite low goes out up and slightly out or so three-way stick. I'll I'll add the link at the bottom here because I got it because it's actually more useful. Also, what I've done is I've ordered another connector for this, which has this thread in it, uh, so you can actually screw it onto a standard um, tripod stand or selfie stick. Now, the other bit I wanted to talk about is the audio is quite good on that video. Because uh, I haven't really tried it before with the GoPro. The, the, the cameras, by the way, are the GoPro 3, um, 3 Plus Heroes. Um, I've actually got two of these. They're, they're, they're quite good little cameras. The only downside is that their battery life is pretty poor. Um, I've got an SD card playing up as well in these, but that's nothing to do with the actual camera itself. Um, the other thing is you can get these watertight containers. I can't. Re I think they come with them if I remember right. But the other side of this is the, these back doors. You can actually unclip, like without breaking it, uh, like so. As you can see, it comes off quite easily. Why that's important is because the other when they're in these watertight containers, the sound is pretty much non-existent. Um, but when you put the open door, like this one, and you get a bit of wind noise behind it, it's terrible. Sorry, this aircon's arguing with me now. Uh, but what I did is I bought this, which is called a dead cat. Dead cat basically will kill the sound from the wind. And that's, that's also extra. Um, well worth paying a few quid for it because what happens is you buy your camera, do your videos and maybe talking or listening to the birds singing and you get home and the sounds terrible because of the wind noise. So well worth investing in but also you want the one with the gaps and the waterproof one because when you go swimming you take this one, when you're doing everything else you take this one. And one thing I recommend is never leaving your camera like this, which is out the box. Always keep it in one of these cases because it'll stop it getting damaged, scratched, or something damaging the lens. Because if it damages this one, I just go and buy another one of these. These are quite expensive. All right, thanks for watching. For a quick review of the actual camera itself, like I said, the actual battery life on these are pants. I recommend getting two batteries. Um, I went and got two cameras, I just found it easier than messing around trying to take bits in and out. Um, these have both got 64 gig cards in which work fine. Quality, you have a look at the other video I'll put in the link which is the one that somebody actually asked me about this in. Um, highly recommend not getting these air conditioning units from the German brand, can't see the name on it. Weldstar electronics are prone to going gremlin. It's just switch itself on and off. Uh, but the GoPro video, have a look yourself. The audio is from it. The audio is with the dead cat. This this is using this housing. The whole thing is on it. It's not just a case of this is stuck on the back, but the whole housing is put on my camera. Um, I always leave in the housing for protection. Uh, the remote works good, but I highly recommend just getting the app and using your mobile phone, your Android app, because um, you can see what you're filming, filming etc. 
you can control it but when you run the Bluetooth it kills it even faster on the battery life um, it's just one of those things with GoPros they're not fantastic when it comes to batteries alright thanks for watching